hello libra welcome 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 how are you guys doing let's get right into your reading this reading is going to be for libra sun moon rising please only take what resonates leave with this not all right let's get right into it let's see what's coming through for you libra Also, I want to say thank you guys for all of the support, all of the booking I've been showing out right now on the site. If you're interested in a personal reading right now, all personals are 20% off at sacredlabor.com. So if you're interested, make sure you check it out. Okay. Also, thank you for all the comments, all the likes, all the views. Appreciate all of the support. All right, we got the pig. Somebody could be the year of the pig. Somebody could be very, very lucky. The pig symbolizes luck and phenomenal abundance. Not just abundance, but phenomenal abundance. Um, real high honors. So lots of people like you, not just like you. They admire you. They support you. Okay. They honor you. And all ambitions attained. So whatever you are ambitious about, you actually conquer. Also, this is your goals, accomplishing your goals. So also tens and threes are going to be really, really big for you. Okay. Um, but the pig is a symbol of phenomenal luck. We also have the four of cups here. Somebody could be living a luxury There's a person who has the luxury of like just sitting around and winning. <laughs> I don't know. If somebody has the luxury of not really doing too much, but they are able to win. Like you have the four of wands, four, four, four. You could be saying four, four, four. Like justice is just on your side. You have a lot of celebrations, a lot of things to be happy about. A lot of things like say thank you to your angels now and your angels and ancestors now because they're doing a lot of things for you. Opening a lot of doors, a lot of angelic energy here. So have gratitude. Yeah, you got the painter. Like you just, it's like something you just came up with this victory. Like I feel like there's a person, somebody could be looking at you like this. Like you could be a person who just wins all the time. That is where, that is how people look at you. It's like you just created a victory. You created a lane and you created, you created the lane and you created it. You set it up so you'll be able to win. Talk about working smarter and not harder. Not only did you create the lane, but you set it up so you'll be the winner. So you, you'll be able to win. So I feel like somebody has a luxury of not doing much or not doing or make making winning, winning look, look easy. This could also be building strife with the person. The fact that you make it look easy. The fact that you could just sit back and just. Somebody may think that you're just sitting back being a slouch and you're still winning, but it's like you're not sitting back being a slouch. You're actually sitting back creating. You're creating a lane. You're creating a life. You're creating a dream life that you want. Maybe you want to do something where you don't have to work so hard. You want to be able to do something where you only have like a four hour work day. Shit, hell, it's a book that say four hour work week. So maybe you have that that type of luxury where you could just get on your phone for 30 minutes and you have made a million dollars because you set it up that way. You created it like I feel like somebody starts speaking it and it comes it comes it comes um, it comes to pass. There's also a person who's really, really admired like that people admire you. I do feel like you could possibly be a teacher or you could be teaching this way. You do have the hermit here and there's a person who's willing to learn. Like, how did you do it? How you set your life up like that? How are you able to do this? How are you able to just sit back and live the luxury life? I want to live the luxury life. I want to da 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 da. I want to. This could be somebody who you who could you could be teaching how to get into like some type of lifestyle or how to create or um manifest a certain lifestyle for them a lot of this happens with like the intuition it's it's manifestation it's a lot of spiritual work you do have the queen of cups and the high priestess so you are very very spiritual you are very soft too so what i mean soft like empathic like you feel a lot um you feel a lot of people's feelings and things like that so a lot of that is happening
You got the luxury to just sit back and let something happen. Just to sit back. And somebody is real, real intrigued by you. Okay. You got a fear you will never forgive me. Somebody struggles with revealing their true feelings and emotions, but they love you more than you think. Also, they're not the same person. And this person also hoped that their your past will cross again in the future. This is a person who did something really, really bad in the past and they fear that you'll never forgive them. Maybe you still are mad at them, still hot. There is no communication that's happening between you and this person right now. So you could be still hot. You could be still mad at this person and they feel like you are, but they want you to know that they're not the same person who did that. Um, they still love you. They still think about you. Um, they were just afraid. I feel like a lot of this fear or whatever they did had a lot to do with them afraid of admitting their feelings or afraid of processing their feelings or maybe they were running away from commitment. They were afraid of rejection or something like that. Could have had abandonment issues, things like that. Yeah, they are a changed person. You got the hangman, like completely changed. Um, and they want you to know that they've changed. Like they've cut up all, all of their foolish ways. I feel like this was like a joker. This kind of looks like the joker. This kind of looks like the person who... The stole everybody's like stuff. Like I feel like you couldn't be you. You aren't the only one. Maybe that's how they did relationships in the past. But somebody was like a joker, a jokester. They didn't take anything serious. They probably didn't take the relationship serious, or they they didn't take you serious, or something like that until they lost you. But they completely they see things completely different now. Now they're working so hard. You they they're changed. They're not the same person. Literally from the inside out, like their heart has changed. How they feel has changed. They could have went through something. Um, sometimes when we go through like life, traumatic events or just really, really big events in our life, it changes us. We see things, we see the world differently. So I do feel like this person has this big regret on how they treated you in a relationship. Also, they're a changed person. Um, they're still hanging there. They haven't touched ground yet. So I don't think that there's no movement here because we do have the hangman. The hangman is just hanging stuck. He's not moving yet until he turns you know, in the upright. So I feel like he just, with this new perception on life, they're thinking about how they treat you and they, they may feel like they don't deserve to be forgiven. So they feel like, dang, this person won't ever forgive me. But I feel like this, with this big change of perception, there probably will be some movement um, to you. Also because this person has completely changed. All right, yeah, you have the Nine of Cups. You do have wish fulfillment here. So I do feel like they're going to be able to get what it is that they want. What they want you to do is they want you to see them as a changed person, not the person that they've always been. And that would give them the ultimate fulfillment. I do see a leap of faith being taken here. So for some of you guys, you may get a call. You may get a, hey, stranger, how you been from a repeat offender? This is a person who offended you in the past. I'm not sure how long or how much this person has offended you. I do. This person has changed their perception of life, of you, of a lot of things. They see things completely different. You do have justice on your side. So it looks like they'll be telling you the truth. They'll be truthful to you. This would be an honest conversation. Also, feel like you can get you can get some of the things you want, whether it's closure, whether it's understanding, whether it's apologies, all of that. Justice will be served in your favor. Oh, we got the portal. There's a portal that's open. This portal is always open. There's a portal that's open for Libra, for somebody here. Oh, we got the moon. 
So at first this portal was hidden. Now it's being exposed. Got the moon in reverse. Yeah, you got the moon in reverse. So there's a portal that's open here. First, this thing was hidden, but now it's open. So there's a hidden a hidden portal opens up. First, you wouldn't you you weren't able to see it. Um, for some of you guys, you may be leveling up really, really fast, moving to the next level in a certain area or aspect of your life, just because something that was hidden is now revealed. I feel like there was some type of hidden portal or you didn't know that there was an entrance this way or you didn't know that you were able to get through or you had a lifeline or you had some support here and boom, there it is. You thought that something was going to be harder for you, but it's actually not. It's actually not that hard. You're really, really happy. Yeah, this is that next level energy. Something is coming to you or something is revealing itself because you are awakened now. Okay, at first you wasn't, um, at first you were, I want to say oblivious. First you could have been blocked spiritually, but there's a spiritual block that moves and now this portal opens up now you're able to get something something's good and plenty something is just you're able to get it yeah you have the four swords you're peaceful first you were stressing out in your mind now your mind is clear i feel like you you were blocked because your mind was going all over the place your mind was your mind was um you had so many thoughts in your mind so so much happening doing your libra thing and now you are at this portal brings you to wish fulfillment. This portal brings you to ultimate happiness. This portal brings you to love. So I feel like there's a hidden po po portal that opens up to you because you were able to clear your mind. You were able to, to, to calm your thoughts, to get rid of your negative thoughts, to stop stressing, to stop, you know, overthinking something like, yeah, this is justice. Justice is ringing in your favor. And it's with some type of hidden portal that almost seems like it comes out of the blue. There's going to be a, a pathway that seems to appear out of nowhere. What else is coming out for Libra? Thank you. All right, we got the mouse, the thief. No, no. The thief. That's a person, a family member who stole from you. You're protected from this person. Family member who stole something from you. Um, or hid something from you. But you're protected here. You are definitely protected. They stole something. They hid something. Okay. Yeah, we have the six of uh, six of swords here. Believe it or not, this process that you're going through with this family member that possibly stole something for, from you or hid something from you, this is actually bringing you to a new level of peace and is changing you on the inside. Believe it or not, um, sixes could be really, really big for you. Something could have happened six times. Um, you're healing. How you're able to heal from this. I feel like somebody had to go through. You could have had to go through something because of the way that you were going to heal back. Or you were going to heal. Or maybe there was something that you needed to know. But the way that you heal, it almost like you transform, transform into something new. Completely new. You go through like a spiritual transformation. Dealing with some type of um, family issues or family problems. And centered around theft. Or somebody hiding something from you. Hiding information. Um, somebody could be calling you a thief. Somebody could be stealing your things. Do you have the mouth hit, mouth hit, mouth symbolizes death. There's also a lot of protection here. So a lot of this has to do with like, this is like Phoenix energy where you are actually transforming from the flames. The flames is actually making you powerful, which the mouse would think the flames will be burning you up. But actually the flames is actually getting you to recover Recover in a way, like transform in a way. That's powerful. There's a, a, a um, recovery after great difficulty. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups here. 
There could be a Pisces or someone, that Knight of Cups involved. You could have significant Pisces energy. A lot of stuff has to do with your heart. So something is transforming your heart, transforming how you love. A lot of stuff is centered at your heart. Also, green is going to be a nice color for you. You might want to wear green, light a green candle, find a green candle, eat some green foods, make a green juice. Green is the color for your heart chakra. You might be seeing the color green, like green lights. Okay. Six is two. Six is six are going sixes are going to be really, really big for you. Um, there's this energy like spiritually that's that knows that you could be going through a lot like you you could definitely be going through a lot you could be really really stressed out or something you could be going through but your your intuition is telling you how to heal something yeah we have the ace of cups Something is opening you up is something could also be cracking you open, but your heart is really, really big. Your heart is transforming in this whole process. So the way that your heart was going to transform in this whole process, that's what that's what needed to happen. I feel like somebody becomes even more loving. Somebody becomes even more open, more vulnerable. And it's the actual opposite of what you think you need to be because you may think you need to be less, less loving, less vulnerable, less open. But you actually become more of that. Like spirit is opening you up more to become more of a lover, more of a giver, more of more vulnerable. OK, more in love with yourself, more in love with your process of life. <clears throat> All right, let's see. We got two. All right. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you. And I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Wow. Don't forget about us. Yeah, I haven't forgot about you. Don't forget about me. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. I don't understand what this connection really is. The thought of you drives me crazy. Why well, I feel like this is like a distant somebody who's distant so somebody here their person is distant and they have not forgot about you i'm also getting like someone could have married or they could have gotten into a relationship after you i don't know why i'm getting this type of energy but they have not you think that they've moved on and they forgot about the spark that you had they have not forgotten about your spark they're learning a spiritual lesson right now um, with the person that they're with. I feel like there's no communication between you and this person because this person could be with another person. They can either be married. They could just be in a relationship. And you feel like this person has um, has moved on completely. Not even moved on. They just forgot about you. And they haven't. I feel like you could find yourself thinking like, I, I wonder if they think about me sometimes. They do. Not even only that, they're still in love with you. They don't know what the connection really is. I feel like when you were with each other, the connection could have been up and down or something. It was very, very passionate. But again, there was something that broke you apart. Um, I feel like you could have thought that you were bad for each other. Maybe y'all thought that you, you were toxic for this person. Or both of y'all were toxic together. When they think of you, it drives them crazy. Yeah, they worry. I feel like someone could have been sick too. Um, but they worry about you a lot. They wonder if you're doing good. I don't know if you you could have been sick. They worry about you a lot. Um, there could have also, you don't have to be sick, 
but there could have been a time where there was a baby or something. It could have been a miscarriage or something that happened with the baby. Um, and they worry about that. They worry about how you felt towards that. They worry about you could have gotten an abortion or something. There could have been an abortion or something that happened. They still think about that. Something that ha happens in a um, some type of sickness. Somebody could have also, I'm also hearing like cancer or something like that. Somebody could have got it and beat it or something happened like that. You could have also lost like a family member close. They still worry about that. Maybe they were with you. I feel like they could be guilt tripping because maybe they weren't they were not with you during that time maybe there was something that happened and they were not there during that time um they're getting clarity on this situation and there could have possibly been drugs or outside influences or just addictions that ruined the relationship and they're getting clarity on it. So they're learning a spiritual lesson about how their addictions ruin like love for them. Real, real deep love. Yeah, they're watching, watching you. They're watching you. You got the Queen of Wands in reverse. They could be a little bit um, envious or jealous. You could have moved on too. I feel like if, if you've moved on too, when they see you, they get a little envious. There is a possibility... Also, if they have a person, their person could be a little envious. Maybe they know of you or they know about you or they know that y'all had some type of bond. Or maybe um, your picture popped up and they was like, who is that? It was like, oh, this was an ex. That that was an ex of mine. And they could get a little envious. Um, but they're, 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 it looks like there's going to be a phone call or a message coming from this person. Look like this person. There's going to be a phone call coming from this person. Or a message. A hey, a like, something like <laughs> like a person can't sleep, like they're tossing and turning. And they feel silly because it's like, you know, I have a whole person and why am I still caught up? So I feel like this person is definitely going to uh, reach out to you. All right, we have a calculated person here. Karmic masculine, calculated person. That's coming out. They calculate every. They calculate. They everything is calculated. They think about everything. How this is going to look? Yeah, masculine. How this is going to look? How that is going to look? All right. So we do have the seven of wands here with the hierophant. I feel like somebody has really, really strong boundaries. Very strong boundaries. This is the hermit here. You could be dealing with a person. Whoever this person is, they like stay there. I, I want to say they almost like a ghost. Like they pop in, pop out. You could have a problem with this person. So because I feel like this could be you. The way that, okay, so when you're in some type of strife or in conflict with the person somebody could never even though you're a calculated person but somebody could never follow you or maybe this person that you are are, are in this strife with they're calculated so it's easy for you to read their steps but you're like a ghost like you pop in and pop out and something is so unexpected that you always defeat you always able to defeat something always able to defeat a per person or to win at, at some type of conflict, argument, or whatever. When the person feels like they're about to come against you or do something to to you, you just disappear and pop pop at a, pop up when it's least expected. Because a person is so ca calculated that you can actually you can monitor their steps or monitor what they're about to do.
All right, yeah, we have the judgment card. It's easy to expose a person because it's like they're so, they're so like, something so obvious. Like they they do the same thing over and over again. Like someone is a very calculated person. Got the Eight of Swords. Also, I feel like you know when a person's going to attack or you know when a person's going to do something because they have patterns. Like they do the same thing over and over and over again. And they don't, they probably didn't notice it, but you notice it because you kind of like are like a hermit here and you notice everything. So yeah, someone's not a match for you. Yeah, you have the Ace of Swords. Okay. You have the Ace of Swords. You're able to see things that another person isn't. And you're able to actually calculate another person's movements. Because they do the same thing every couple of months. Or every couple of weeks. Or every couple of days. So you're always ready for them. Or you can pop up and pack, pop back out. And just catch them off guard. Because they do the same thing over and over again. Alright. All right, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does. Make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.